War is a universal language. And I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Captain Marvel is a character in our comics and in the mythology who's got one foot on Earth, one foot in the cosmic arena. And now that we've made a number of movies that take place on Earth, and now a number of the cosmic adventures with Avengers and with Guardians of the Galaxy and with Thor, we thought it was the right time to finally introduce Captain Marvel to the world. I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I kind of have to forget who Nick Fury is at this particular juncture. Uh, in the movies that I've done before because he hadn't formed those opinions yet. He's essentially a bureaucrat, you know, or an alphabet badass in one of those government alphabet things. Uh, he's still a badass, but he kind of takes orders. And what's your name, huh? Gary. He listens to people that are above him. He wants to call in and tell them what's going on and not necessarily keep it to himself and see what see what path is going down so he can make it his. Do you know how to fly this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. I didn't expect to be to be coming back after what happened in Guardians of the Galaxy, so it was a nice surprise to get the call that they were gonna do a movie well before Guardians of the Galaxy uh, started and, and Ronan was gonna make an appearance. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun character. Would you like to know? what you really are. We feel like these movies, um, you know, the ones that we've seen uh, in the MCU are at their best when they make you feel empathy for people who you thought were bad um, and, and make you see the complicated, messy sides of people who you thought were good. And, and we really wanted to embrace that in this movie. You have to let go of the past. I don't remember my past. It's causing you doubt. How it makes you vulnerable. Having a character as powerful as Captain Marvel suddenly in the on on the good side is going to be wonderfully exciting. And I think the fact that it's a woman, I think there's a there's a there's a fantastic sense of female um, strength and intelligence um, that's really unique to this character and particularly to this film. elements um, of Carol and, and Captain Marvel that I admire that made me interested in wanting to take it on. But I think one aspect that really intrigued me was the fact that she's flawed, the fact that she makes mistakes in this movie, that she is very powerful and takes really big risks. She's confident and bold in that way, but that doesn't always mean that it plays out the way that she hopes it would but you watch her get back up again and try again. And I think that's what life is all about, is taking the big risk and then atoning for the mistakes along the way.